Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. Last time we uh, got the chisel from the uh, giant stonemason, and now we can open up magical locks, and we use that immediately to get down to this area where we killed our first Valkyrie, which actually probably was a bit easier than the other Valkyries, I'm gonna suppose, because uh, she was only level three, and we managed pretty, pretty okay. But for today, I wanna try something different. Um, a few episodes ago, well, a whole lot of episodes ago, we went to Muspelheim and there were a lot of trials over there. And uh, I want to take a look and go back there. I want to complete all of them because uh, I feel like we, now that we're level 5, we can actually try and do that without uh, being stuck for hours and hours on end. But uh, we'll see about that. So uh, see you guys in a second in Muspelheim. What now then? So fast traveling to Brock again. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden vault is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, Submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. Ooh. So the Black Rune of Jotunheim is going to be our next objective after Muspelheim, of course. But uh, now let's head to Brock. So I'm actually going to check out Brock's inventory first. Uh, to see if we can't upgrade anything else before we're heading back to Muspelheim. So give me a second. Oh, we can also talk to him. Hey, where it is someone put down that loudmouth Magni? Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing for you when his daddy finds out. But one less Aesir farting around suits me just fine. In fact, next upgrade is on the house. Ooh, really? is that for real? No. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, you're an asshole, Brooke. So let me see if I have this right. You and Sindri made me own here. Yep. And then Thor used it to kill a lot of people. Your damn point? Just seems like you're mad at each other about it, instead of being mad at Thor. Kid, I like you. But you don't begin to appreciate the complexities what develop between families. You don't hear me lecturing your old man how he ought to be raising you. And believe me, there's plenty to critique. Sorry, Brock. Just trying to help. Yeah, Brock actually raises a good point. We're not raising this boy uh, the way we should. We should. Um, Kratos, I don't know what you're demanding by putting your foot on top of the counter, but uh, it's, it's kind of silly. Um, let's just pull Kratos back a bit, because that, uh, that looked a bit really threatening. And uh, let's check out the inventory. So, obviously, we can upgrade the axe to level 5. Shop some fuckers with that. There we go. So, I swapped back to Tears Gauntlets. I upgraded them to the max with the hardened Svartalfheim steel that we found uh, earlier in a few episodes ago, I think. And uh, now that has three enchantment slots and it's just better than the Brimstone uh, Gauntlets we've been using before. The axe is now upgraded to level 5 as well, which should allow us to do a bit more damage. And we can actually upgrade that even further, so I'm wondering how uh, far we can take that. And the final skills are unlocked. Increases the maximum number of targets with the uh, throw. That's just a targeting throw, right? Because I think, yeah, just aim and hold R1 to uh, select targets. We never really use that, but... You know what, we have plenty of experience, so why not purchase that anyway? Then we have, while well, barehanded, aim and press R2 to instantly recall the Leviathan Axe and perform a powerful slam attack. Why not? And then the stance attacks unlock a third and final R1 attack while in the switched stance. So that's gonna come in handy, I think, for crowd control. And switch stances by pausing momentarily after any leviting attack. Once in a new stance, press R2, R2 to perform a heavy ranged combo. One and two. That is actually cool. He throws it pretty far, so let's just purchase that as well. And there we go. Upgraded pretty much everything for Atreus as well, aside from one more skill. So uh, I think we're pretty geared up now from Muspelheim. So here we go. Hi. Here we go. But they're doors, aren't they? Hi. 
and hold our sprites of the forest. Aye, beautiful, seductive sprites of the forest. So why would you call Brock and Cindy the Holger brothers? Oh, well, I now realize this would be a wholly inappropriate story for young and innocent ears. Oh. Whatever. Does that mean they were fighting over, you know, the love of one of those wood sprites? Seductive wood sprites? That could explain the argument, because I already had a feeling that it might have something to do with a, a shared love. But uh, we'll see about that later on, because uh, right now we have some challenges to do. So what do you think, Mimir? What does Baldur want with us? Well, let's look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What could we have that Odin doesn't? He's like the king of gods. Of the Aesir, aye. But his reach is not unlimited. And where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. Okay, so... He might want to get somewhere that he can't reach right now. And Kratos might be able to help him with that, so... Because we know that Kratos came from the, well, the Greek mythology realm, whatever that was. And he somehow managed to get his way over here to Midgard. Well, now, now we're gonna move behind, but, you know, you know my point. Um, which means that, yeah... Kratos somehow managed to travel between realms without the Bifrost, probably. So, I hate this arena. We've been here for two hours last time for the previous challenge. And now, uh, on to the next, I suppose. Because I really like that they added these trials, because uh, challenges have always been a big part of God of War in the previous games as well. So, uh, it's really, really fitting. And I love the, the, that they gave it a bit more of a backstory, especially since it's supposed to be housing Surtur, the fire giant. And who knows, maybe we'll see him today. Enemies quickly regenerate Here health. Here we go. Okay, sounds doable. So, I think that means I need to do that. There we go. So let's kick him off the edge then, just. There we go. And just insta-kill him. There we go. And then just grab him. Grab him. This is this seems to be working. And there we go. I do love the traveler's armor. And there we go. Instant stunning with the shield bash. There we go. Wolves, okay. Damn it. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Ready, there we go. Wolf down. Ooh, there we goes. There we go. Oh, he went through the wall. Just focus on them one by one, and there he goes. And off the cliff. There we go. Yeah. 
And there we go. Up. Down in the lava pit. Boom. And there we go. Easy does it. Easy does it. And goodbye. This is all about stunning. And there we go. Yeah, just toss him off. Just toss him off. Goodbye. That's one. And rip them apart. And there we go. And Kablamo! Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? There's one over there. Okay. Let's get the quick one first. There we go. Um, Flammo! This is taking a while, by the way. Holy shit. And grab. And smash. Crap! Yep, there we go. There we go. Easy peasy. With the shield bashing attack, that was pretty, pretty doable. But that took a while. Holy crap, that was... Holy crap? Holy crap, that was a lot of uh, enemies. But, reward for us, and that means we can move on to arena number three. Whew. Okay, that's a, a very good start. Smoldering embers times 12. There's the way through. And a bit of hack silver. I'm just gonna gather uh, a few things from the battlefield as well. Because these guys drop a lot. So, plan is that however long this takes, I'm gonna cut this all down into, I hope, one episode. So uh, that you don't have to sit through everything. Just gonna be something for me. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully by the end of this we have a full uh, smoldering magma armor set, which would be our first complete epic or legendary or whatever the hell it's called, exotic armor set. Wait, so there's something over here, which gives us more hack silver. Can't go over there, so no problem. I don't think, yeah, there was no other way. I keep breathing in ash. Imagine breathing it in from your throat stump. <laughs> uh, I really can't. Yeah, he, he really, really can't. Okay, Mimir, thanks for the input. Uh, there we go. There we go. On to the next challenge. Although this is oh, wow. taking a while. It's a lava waterfall. It's a lava fall. A yes, lava fall. This isn't at all terrifying, is it? No. <laughs> no, indeed. Thank you, Mimir, for finally being the only normal person in this game. Because, I mean, we're climbing around right next to lava. A normal person would be dying from the heat. Quite literally, actually. Because that would be, would be too much. Wait, do I hear enemies already? Another sword. I wonder how many of these there are. Yeah, I do too. Oh, it's six. The voice says six. Ah, okay. That gives us a good indication as to how far we need to go. So two challenges each. That means we still have about eight challenges left, but next up. I don't care about normal because kill grunts to break the elite's shield. Ready? Okay. So that's the elite. How big it is this guy? So does that mean I can hit him now? Nope. 
So. Find me. Okay, elite is invulnerable. Active allies remaining. That's one down. And there he goes. One, two, three. Yeah, he's invulnerable again. So it's health based. It's health based. Because I was really quickly on the draw there. Take it easy. The blinding is almost gone. The big guy doesn't seem to want to. Oh, he didn't hit me there. Come on. So that one is down. We need to be careful. And down he goes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Damn it. Holy crap, that ending is... Um... Come on, come on, come on. Can't 
Okay. Chat, 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 chat. Just fire at him. There we go. Holy crap. Okay. Another one down. Dark elf. Asshole number two. Taken care of. Whew. And now we have our next reward. Damn. That was a bit more strategic. But uh, Atreus's arrows really, really bring... Uh, their benefit in this one. So, Crest of Flame and Smoldering Embers. Great, great, great. Okay, next sword. Do I actually do I actually um, revive when I do that? Because otherwise I might want to open up... No? I might want to open up the gate there. No? Okay. I'm hoping I'll, I'll just... Do I get my health back if I touch this thing? Ah, yeah. Okay, I do. Okay. Health back and rage resets. Kill enemies while they are inside the gold rings. Two minutes and I need to kill five. Where are the gold? Ah, this is the gold ring. Fair enough. Yeah, that's one down. And then this one also down. Come on. Need to get them. I think if I just punch him. There we go. Wave complete. Ah, okay. It's in waves. Never mind. I thought this was gonna be easy. Next gold ring. There we go. Okay, come on. And there we go, that's also one kill inside the ring normally. Doesn't that count? No, that doesn't count. There we go. Come on. And that one also down. There we go. Just a bit strategic uh, positioning. So I'm hoping for three waves. Yeah, okay, that circle. What's next? Five more? Seems like normal waves. There's one. Oh, the circle moves. No, 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 not fair. Come on. There we go, that's two. And that's another one. Oh, no, is that... Ah, okay. Come on, that's circle. Oh, the circle is gone. Fuck. Two minutes. Two minutes. You can do this. Oh no, it's over there. Come on, get over here. That's two, right? That's two. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Five. 
collect your reward. Trial complete. So I have a feeling that the harder ones are actually easier than the, than the normal ones, but uh, hey. Things are going uh, pretty, pretty good, all things considered. There we go. Grab that, 20 smoldering embers and 5 crests of flames. Okay. Next gate! Next gate. So this is this is going well. I haven't needed to retry them more than twice, I think, for now. Just gonna activate this to heal up. You never know what will come across in between. Nah. There we go. Okay, moving on. So that one was just a bit of a positioning, but not really a, a hard one. Per se. Need to be a bit lucky. And don't use the arrows too much, because they uh, draw so enemies to Atreus. Well, my nose itches. Well, I can't really scratch it, right, can I? There's no scratch button on my controller. I think there's, there have been a few chests dotted around. But I don't really see a way of going up any different. And this seems to be the next arena already, so... Uh, yup, indeed we did. So let's just activate it and see what we need to do. Defeat a hundred enemies. Ready? That Ready. sounds. Uh, oh, you meant the boy, of course. <laughs> yes, 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 Mimir. I meant the boy. Do we have a time limit? We don't. So this is just murdering. And there we go. Ninety, ninety-nine remaining. Okay, that was three. This doesn't. This is gonna take way too long, by the way. Okay, traveler. Quick switch to the. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Oh, there goes one. There we go. And smack. Okay. Okay, he's in the lava. He's in the lava. Another traveler, okay. Is that level 6 or level 4? Level 4. So that means two travelers, great. Let's 
Jesus Christ. Okay, this is getting annoying. Seems a bit overdoing it. Damn. I am not gonna. Ready? Ready. Uh... Oh, you met the boy, of course. Okay. Let's try this one more time, because this takes a long time to do every time. Yeah, the travelers. Thank you, Skull. And then the health stone, please. The health stone, thank you. And there we go. 54, halfway there. 51. Hit each other. Yeah, I knew it. There we go. Massively done, good sir. In the face. There's one more left. Okay. 45, 45, 45, 45, 45. Ah, 
And there we go. We can deal with this. Need to take a look what else is here. Cause Where did he go? Crap. Minecraft. Thirty. Thirty. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. I'm just gonna do this. I grab that one. And them off the edge. And there we go. 20. 20. 20. Oh fuck, travelers. But maybe I can use this to my advantage. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, come on. And let's use him to take care of the traveler, or at least whittle him down a bit. Oh, he's down! He's motherfucking down! Yeah, there we go. And there he goes. Did we get a health stone? Nope. Nope. Jesus Christ, there's this old projectile guys. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Yep, there we go. Eleven. Oh fuck, another traveler. Let's kick one of the edge. And stab. Jesus, I need to juggle a lot of things here. So they're, they're, they're all dead, four enemies remaining.
So yeah, this is this is it. This is it. I think it was just in time. Oh shit. There we go. Oh shit. Yeah, that's another one down. And then, oh come on. There we go. Okay. Traveler down. Traveler is the only one. Let's finish this in style. Come on. You're going down, buddy. You're going down. 100 enemies. Single handedly. Without a single fucking. Ah. Holy crap, that was awesome! A <sighs> hundred enemies! And I'm uh, recording for an hour and a half, so I'm, ha I'm gonna have to take... Uh, split this up in different recording sessions, but you won't, uh, you won't notice that, I hope. It's gonna be one hell of an episode, though. So, let's open this up. Let's see what we get from that. The enemies seem to be still around level 5 most of the time. I have only seen one level 6 traveler. So uh, we're still doing pretty okay. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. So, next challenge, I think this will be challenge number 5 for me today. Yeah. Don't let Gates. enemies capture a trace. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> And turning them around. Okay. We've completed. I lost way too many health. Way too much health. Trace capture count zero out of three. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. I just need to avoid just getting hit because I'm focusing way too much to getting a Trace out of a bite. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what they exactly mean by don't let enemies capture a Trace because they did once in the previous try. But that apparently didn't seem to matter all that much. Smack, smack. And there we go. Just act normal. Just act normal. And everything will be fine. La di da di da di da di da di da di da di da. Goodbye.
Yeah. Yeah, they got them. That was a bit weird. Ah, so there we go. So it only counts when they actually get to him. I'm focusing way too much on Altreus. What the fuck was that, by the way? That was half my health gone. And there we go. We've completed the only captured him once, I think. Cool, uh... Oh shit! How the hell? Okay, time for the uh, Rage of the Golds. Stop turning around like that. Oh, fuck. Um, um. Okay. That was actually pretty doable, but, uh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. That was... I thought there was going to be another wave because it felt like they could have added another one and not um, broken it completely. But another reward. Probably more just smoldering embers and crests of flame and whatever. Just more uh, materials to make that awesome, awesome gear. So there we go. 20 smoldering embers and 5 crests of flames. And we can move further up. And as they always say, the only way is up. And there's a chest up there. Ooh, there goes my arm hair. What arm hair? You, don't tell me you've got a lot of arm hair there. So the chest is over there. Doesn't seem like I can immediately reach it from here. Seems like I need to turn off the lava flow or something. Maybe once we're done with this, the lava actually stops flowing. Um, that might be okay. it. My eyes are really stinging now. My throat hurts. Well, it wouldn't be a challenge without a little challenge, would it? Well, yeah, but I mean, we're bringing a little kid inside of an active volcano. It doesn't seem like that's the best idea. There's a sword. What's this? The fifth? Yup. The fifth indeed, so the fifth arena. Seems like a pretty straightforward arena. A bit of lava over there and again a cliff, so should be able to take advantage of all of that. Healing up and losing all my rage. 
to kill enemies to increase time. Be ready, boy. Time for what? Okay. Oh shit, traveler. Chat. There we go. Wave com oh, wave complete. Okay, never mind. No, I don't look so great. I think I'm gonna need something else aside from uh, just time. Oh, fuck you! You didn't know that was coming. Let's ah, just focus on one of them. Yeah, there goes the wolf. There we go. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Okay, never mind. I died. <laughs> well, fuck you too. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Just gonna do this. Get invincible for a second. And then smack him. Ah, crap. I can do this. Oh, think I got him. Didn't I got him? Yeah, there we go. I think you've gotten okay. pretty good at that. Yes, indeed. So that leaves only three more challenges. Okay, next reward. What's it gonna be? 25 smoldering embers and 6 crests of flames? No, 12 smoldering embers and 3 crests of flames. That was less than before. That is old. But uh, let's do the next one. Since we're on a roll and all that, 
Avoid taking damage. Here they come. Wait, what? Right. <laughs> Avoid taking damage. Okay then. What does that even mean? Oh. It stopped. We failed. There is no failure in training. Oh. We can surpass it with practice. Sure. Or we could come back with better weapons and armor. A fair point. Oh, seriously. Like. Oh, that is nasty. That is nasty. So just a single hit and it stops. Okay. This is stupid. Oh, fuck you, game. I'm just gonna turtle up. <laughs> I am scared to death of getting hit now. That's just fine. Okay. More to the left. More to the left. Come on. Almost ready. And smack. Six. Oh god. Oh god, 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 oh god. And swoop, swoop, swoop. God, we did it. <laughs> just, just kept my distance the entire time like a big wuss. Alright, that was the, um, in total, the 10th challenge. Which means I have only two left. Only two left. Might actually do this in two recording sessions, which is great, because I was expecting a lot worse. 20 smoldering embers and 5 crests of flames. And another gate opened up. So we came from up there. But now we can go over here. I don't usually get nervous when we climb. But don't slip. Yeah. I strongly concur. Yeah, don't slip, because that looks painful. Holy crap. Kratos and his arm strength. But I mean that's I mean that's just his own weight, so we've seen him hold a lot bigger stuff. That's a Valkyrie. That's a flippin' Valkyrie. I thought there were... Oh yeah, there were six swords. Doesn't mean there were 12 challenges, of course. Um... Okay. Careful, yeah. lads. Because we've seen them now. This one doesn't look uh, so friendly. Hello. Dondo. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, okay, I can't dodge her attacks. Jesus. Maybe 
Maybe I should do Rage of the Gold a bit sooner now. block any of it so gonna have to do this the hard way yeah okay still get hit by that Hi. So, not like that. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck Yeah. I am gonna finish this. So, the slam. The slam. And just to strike the guard. Damn it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh fuck, I missed. I missed times. Oh. No. Yeah. Where is she? Oh shit. Yeah. Nope. Ooh, gold. Yeah, she didn't scream again. Nope. Oh, fuck off. Nope. Fucking bullshit. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? I dodged that. Use a health stone. Damn, wow. Hopefully her attacks do more damage at the end. Damn it. Damn it, yeah. Okay, and the stun takes longer as well. Fucking hell, man. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm not gonna go closer because she's gonna pulse me in the fight otherwise. Damn it. I'm on the wrong side. Come on. Come on. Just focus. Block. Block. Uh, just firing coming, just firing coming, blocking again, blocking again, blocking again. Dodge out the way, pulse, dodge out of the way. Damn it. Oh no, oh no, oh Jesus Christ. Fuck! Two. Ooh. 
I was afraid that that was going to be too soon. I'm stuck. I'm stuck against something. Fuck. Ready yourself. Distance is enough. Distance is enough. Not for that, though. Made a mistake there. Weep. Oh, she's in a corner. Come on. 
Do I have enough time? I do. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Come on. And then slam. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Eat shit, Gondol. Eat shit. One wing, two wings, and down. There we go. Second Valkyrie down. That was one hell of a fight. Freedom. Awesome right, God of War. You are free. You have destroyed my physical form. I have nothing to give but my gratitude. I guess that's all we need. Gratitude does not pay for weapon upkeep, boy. Valhalla <laughs> awaits. <laughs> awesome. Farewell. Holy crap. Well, goodbye, Gondol. Let's take the helmet. Our second helmet. Ooh. So, Elder Valkyrie down. I'm actually wondering. Eight. Wait. You think if they wanted to be killed, they'd make it a little easier for us? Not sure they even have a choice in the matter, lad. What do you mean? Whatever made them this way, they are mad with rage. How do you know? I know. Well, it's weird because, of course, the Valkyries are supposed to be. Well, good guys, I was going to say, but then again, Thor and everybody else in the. The Vanir, um, the Aesir uh, realm is supposed to be a good gold, but uh, that apparently is not the case. But do we actually know who captured the Valkyries and put them in those physical forms? And there we got Raging Inferno of Muspel Muspelheim. Legendary resource, I suppose. The hottest fires from the peak of Muspelheim used to unlock an upgrade to a powerful item. That is okay, very cryptic. Then we have uh, Asgardian steel, so Asgardian metal found on scraps of Valkyrie armor, used to upgrade armor, pommels, and talismans with the power of the Valkyries. So we had that before. I'm just gonna go with the purple stuff first, and that is Asgardian steel, okay? And then we get Leviathan's Eye. Epic enchantment increases damage of all extras by six. So I think that's the third. It's either the second or the third one we got from that, but this one is epic for some reason. Because they're all 6% as far as I can tell. And then we get the Gauntlets of the Valkyrie. Epic wrist armor, a true warrior's armor forged of metals from Valhalla. A Valkyrie's essence favors well-rounded stats. And I actually like a well-rounded character as well, but that's not the only thing that's here. There's actually two more chests. I am wondering, where is the fire giant? I thought that was supposed to be the final challenge. Let's just check this out. Chest numero uno. Is that just gonna be more materials or not? Yeah, greater crest of flame and crest of surter. There we go, that's the, the fire giant surter. Weird. And what's in this? More smoldering embers. But hey, fellas. Yeah, smoldering well, embers, hacksilver and crest of flames. He says for anyone that can beat a Valkyrie. He'll unlock a new level of challenges. No. I think all the swords just came Oh, back. for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's gonna have to be... That's gonna have to wait until another episode, because uh, I'm not gonna do that. Just what the... Oh, look at that. It does have all the portals here as well. Because that's Steer's Temple. Ooh. So, I'm assuming we'll see Surtur after we've completed the next round of challenges. There's even a sword in here. I don't even know. No, I'm not going to do that today. This uh, this has been one hell of an episode so far, because I think I've recorded for about four hours in total, uh, with about an hour and a half on this fight alone. The rest of the challenges went by pretty quickly, but this one was, uh, yeah, one hell of a fight. Um, I'm just going to go back to Brock, and we'll make, uh, yeah, I think we'll make some upgrades with everything we just got. So, uh, see you guys in a second, back at Brock's shop in Midgard, of course. So... 
But not before we get into the story, of course. Are you saying he's trying to get to Jotunheim too? Aye. It ranks among his foremost obsessions. But that doesn't make any sense, Vimir. Oh? When did I stop making sense? You're saying Baldur tracked us down to find the way to Jotunheim. But that was before we knew Jotunheim is where we needed to go. That's crazy. Except for one thing. You are headed for Jotunheim, so he was right. I'm so confused. Well then, clearly you've been listening. Well, that's very interesting, actually. Because ever since we went to that tower and did the elevator rides with the temporal magic, I've been wondering about that. There's a lot of stories that uh, concluded with either the storyteller not knowing whether it all had happened or is still needs to happen. Even Mimir tell, told us that when we were talking to the snake that he was destined, he was very angry with Thor because he fought him or he will fight him. So that's a really weird thing to say constantly in every story we've uh, heard before. So I have a feeling there's some uh, time meddling going on here, but uh, we'll see about that later on, I suppose. So, Brock's shop. Let's see what we can do. What's it gonna be this time? So, after a whole lot of shuffling, this is our new look. So we have the magma belt, the brimstone gauntlets both leveled up to the second tier. I can't do the third tier actually, because we need higher materials, which is probably what those next challenges are for. And then I created the uh, Surter handle as well. So we have a new axe pommel that inflicts uh, fire damage once we activate its perk. So that's going to sync up rather nicely with the rest of the armor. So now we have, um, because of the enchantments, we have about 40% extra frost damage, which is good for the frost damage. We do shock damage with Atreus's arrows and all of his skills. And then we now do also fire damage because of the armor and the pommel. So I think we're good all around. We also equipped the, uh, the rest of the uh, enchantments we've got. And um, that is pretty much it. I checked out the Valkyrie's gauntlets as well. And they are also very powerful, but the Brimstone Gauntlets are a bit more powerful at level 2. So once we can upgrade those Valkyrie Gauntlets, I'll probably swap uh, out my Brimstones for uh, those. But for now, this is the uh, loadout. We're just shy of uh, level 6, so sadly we cannot do that just yet. But um, yeah, I'm going to take a little break from challenges uh, next time. We'll uh, finish our last objectives in the lake, as I think we'll still do a few things. I think we need to collect some bones or something. And uh, then we'll continue on with the main quest probably one more time before we then continue on with the challenges. Uh, unless anything changes, of course, might be uh, that something else pops up in the meantime. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. It's been uh, a lot of work, but we managed our way through Muspelheim, at least the first batch of challenges, because apparently there's another r rank of challenges. But we'll see about that uh, later on. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and hope to see you guys next time in the next episode of God of War. Goodbye.